Okay guys, uh, we're going to break a password on Excel. Here, we're going to lock this spreadsheet. And here we go, you just go in here. As you can see, you can protect the sheet. I'll ask you for, to create a password. So, we're just going to put a basic password in here, just as an example. Okay, so I didn't recognize it the first time, that's my fault. I did a right click and it took it as something for the keyboard. Um, so now, now we're going to save the file. Stick it to the drive. Stupid fast computer. As you can see, the file is now protected, it's saved, it needs a password. So we know the file's okay. So now we right click on it, and what we're gonna do is actually open it with a raw file. Um, with a, as a raw, sorry, or a zip, as, as a zip or a raw. I think it's a zip actually. Uh, but we're not actually gonna mess around with changing its name or anything else. So, we're going to use unrar. I think it's yeah. Is it unrar? Yeah, winrar. Winrar is a free program you can download. And when you open it, you'll find that it breaks the files down, so you can go straight into Excel, straight into worksheets, and straight in where the password is. If there's multiple passwords, each one of these will have a different password for each sheet, and you have to go and edit all of them. So now we look for the word protection, which is actually the file, file protection within this. And there we go. And what we want to do is actually remove it where it's got the greater than. Uh, you want to remove the greater than and the less than. Um, basically, you're looking for where the, the whole piece of data is used. Um, it's messing me about a bit here because it doesn't really like Notepad too much with long text. So I've got to do it again. And the easiest way of doing this is just manually deleting it. Or what I mean manually is like just pressing the delete key if it if it starts jumping around a bit. Um, yeah, just it just grabbed the wrong triangle on the uh, the greater than as well as the last than so yeah just zoom up delete it take it all out and as you can see I'm just working the two together so you got the less than and greater than together removing everything else as you can see it's quite a long string I'm doing it quite slowly because it deletes you don't delete the wrong thing because it'll create an error or corrupt the file or both Maybe there. That's it. And then just save it. File save. Close it. Unless you update it. Yes, you want to update it in the archive. Don't do this outside the archive, by the way. It'll corrupt the file. It's got to be done inside it. It's, I had a bit of fun trying to get this to work. It took me about an hour. Yeah, about an hour and a half, but yeah, now, now it works fine using this method, which is why I'm making this video. And you better go down here now, and you'll see the file is no longer protected. Well, make the trial still on now. There we go. There you go. There's no protection on it whatsoever. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment.